fan favorite Special Agent Timothy Farragut McGee has been winning the hearts of the NCIS fandom for 18 years now. Played by none other than 43-year-old actor Sean Murray, Timmy McGee is one of the most prominent characters in the show. But what you may not know is the actor has been working in the entertainment industry for much longer, 12 years before he joined the NCIS cast to be exact. Firstly, a little bit of the actor's background. Though he's best known as Special Agent Timothy McGee on CBS's long-running drama NCIS, it'll surprise you to know that the actor has been in the field since his early teens. He's got a lot of cult favorite credits under his belt, like Hocus Pocus, Jag, and the esteemed drama This Boy's Life. Not just that, but he's even acted alongside industry giants like Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Bette Midler, and the best of NCIS, Mark Harmon, to name a few. With 18 years of NCIS under his belt, the actor has made great progress with both the development of his character and his own acting prowess. From being a probationary field agent to becoming one of the main characters of the show, we really can't imagine NCIS without Special Agent McGee. But there's way more of a backstory to Sean Murray than just his role in the spectacular naval drama. There's his own passion for hip-hop and electronic music, and then there's his environmental activism, like his endeavors to help heal the coastal waters and watersheds of Greater Los Angeles. And then, of course, are all his artistic achievements. Let's dive right into Murray's involvement in the arts, shall we? Next Next up, Murray, ever the performer. In an interview with Icon vs. Icon, Murray didn't hesitate to admit he'd been a performer at heart ever since he was a child. It didn't matter what kind of performance, from book reports and oral presentations, to be a theater kid in school, there was always something or other he was doing that tied in with his love of performing. He's been passionate about performing ever since his childhood, and he knew he wanted to do it from an early age. The one film that made him 100% sure about pursuing acting as a profession was Stand By Me, the 1986 film featuring River Phoenix. The film made a great impact on Murray and according to him, made him want to pursue acting more than anything. Luckily for the actor, his mother was always supportive and decided to let him give acting a shot. Though his mother was great at facilitating and supporting him in any way possible, he clarified that she wasn't a stage parent in any way. His parents were mostly unbothered by his profession, just wishing him well throughout his career and leaving him to his devices. Until a few years in into his career, Murray ended up finding out that his great-great-grandmother was also a pretty well-known actress in Australia, aka where the actor's family is from. According to Outsider, Murray's mother separated from his father, Navy Captain Craig Harlan Murray, in the early 1990s, then headed out to Hollywood with her son. When they began living in Los Angeles, his mother began a relationship with the infamous NCIS screenwriter and creator, Donald Belisario. They've now been married for 23 years, nearly as long as Sean transformed from a child star to a household name, and that's when he began working with all these big names from today. Adding to that, Murray's experience working with Leonardo DiCaprio. In 1993, Murray joined the cast of This Boy's Life, alongside people like Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. Around the same time, Murray was in a few other projects like Backfield in Motion and the Civil Wars series. In a 2018 interview with Emmy Magazine, he spoke about the experience, explaining that he was able to learn a lot just watching Robert De Niro, despite the fact that he didn't get any on-camera work with the latter. Murray spoke highly of DiCaprio too, explaining how he knew from that one time working with the young actor that he would make it big in the industry, despite the fact that he was only 13 years old back then. And lo and behold, he became one of the world's most well-known Hollywood actors within a couple of decades. Next, his role as Bink in Hocus Pocus. Only three months after the premiere of This Boy's Life, Hocus Pocus was released in theaters, and Murray's role entailed him acting as a teenager from the 1600s in the Spooky Family film, making valiant attempts to save his sister from witches. The actor has mentioned that his character was impactful enough for fans of the movie to still approach him about his character, Thackeray Binks. Even though the movie took place decades ago, young kids still recognize the actor from his role in the film. As crazy as it sounds, this happens because said kid's parents were fans of the movie in their own childhoods, and so they passed on the love for the movie to their kids, and apparently he's been told that he still looks pretty much the same, which is an even bigger compliment if you ask us. Now for Sean Murray co-starring with Mark Harmon. From 1993 to 1994, Sean Murray acted in Hearts of the West, the short-lived CBS show, and there he was first introduced to Mark Harmon, his 2B co-star on NCIS. In a 2019 interview with Country Living, Murray spoke about how Harmon's character in the show was a bullfighter, and he'd made a great impression 
impression on the young actor, despite it being their first meeting. While speaking to Emmy magazine, he made a similar statement, expressing how he knew of Mark Harmon ever since he was 15 and saw Harmon play a guest role in Hearts of the West, another CBS show. Murray was working on the same show at the time, and that's when Murray knew of him for the first time. When Murray joined the cast of NCIS, Harmon remembered him and was just as great as 15-year-old Murray remembered him to be. Now, the pair of actors have been old friends for a long, long time. Coming up next, NCIS was supposed to be a one-time gig for Murray. For the next 10 years after Hearts of the West aired, Murray had relatively smaller roles on a range of different projects, like ER, JAG, and Touched by an Angel. In 2003, he finally joined his stepfather's show, NCIS. To everyone's surprise, the actor revealed that his character was supposed to be a one-off character in the show, set to make just one appearance in the seventh episode of the show's first season. According to him, the show's editors were working on another episode in season one only, and were confused as to how to make it longer by a few minutes. That's what made them decide to bring McGee's character back. When it comes to portraying McGee, Murray expressed how playing the character has been the experience of a lifetime. Not only has it been fun, but it's also been an extremely enlightening experience, considering that he's been growing and making progress right along with the character. While McGee started off as a rookie agent and then became a senior field agent, Murray himself went from being a childhood actor to a household name. Last but not least, his career after NCIS. After he finally became a part of NCIS, he kind of committed to it and only took part in a handful of other projects. These included Agatha Christie, An Ordeal by Innocence, the BBC drama. According to him, he probably subconsciously didn't take part in more roles so he could focus on his family. Being a father of two, he wanted to focus on his kids and wife more than anything else. And he already works around 10 months of the year on NCIS and thus spends most of his time on set. So it makes sense if he doesn't partake in other roles as frequently. The actor expressed that he takes good care to make sure he's with his family for at least the two months he isn't on set, saying he doesn't want to prioritize his work family over his actual family. He expressed how he doesn't want to cheat on the latter and so makes sure to spend as much time with them as physically possible for him, which is 10 months out of the year currently. However, the actor did specify that he definitely would consider a role if it was something he was interested enough in. So all hope isn't lost. We can still expect to see Murray grace the big screen in shows other than NCIS. One last extra tidbit. In the same interview with Icon vs. Icon, Murray was asked about the one lesson he's learned over the length of his entire career. He answered in a very pragmatic way, talking about how working as an actor never means guaranteed success. He emphasized that he was one of the few lucky ones to get a big break in his career. Murray only became part of NCIS after 14 years in the industry, and he had no idea how successful he would become because of it. Point is, don't ever think being on the big screen is all fun and games. It only becomes that once you're actually discovered by big names, the chances of which are slim. Never impossible though, right? That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Sean Murray in NCIS? Have you watched his other works? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.